Hey guys, Elizabeth Quinn here with Elizabeth Scenes and Scents, and today I thought we'd also talk garland. Garland is the long, drapey, greenery snake that uh, some people do not enjoy hanging because it's never straight and then it falls down. Um, this year in decor trends, I have seen all sorts of amazing, mostly just greens decor uh, drapes all the way down people's tables. Now, I just don't do very well with just plain greenery because I love to embellish. But we had two very beautiful parties this last week. And before I tear this thing apart, I thought you guys might enjoy seeing that and some of the other garlands around the house. So obviously this one is real. Everything in here is real. Magnolia leaves and your eucalyptus and your pine. And I just wanted to do this cascade and it tied in very nicely with the things that are on my shelf by Nature's Wonders from Scentsy, which is on sale at the moment for the month of December. But uh, there are other kinds of greenery swags and garlands. This one is uh, not real, this is fake. This is Hearth and Hand. And I have two of these, this one just has some little stars and some fairy lights and these darling birds. I love little bird clips. They bring a lot of life to an otherwise just kind of mundane arrangement. And then over here on top of my hutch, I have the exact same greenery swag. I did add a few more pieces of artificial pine just to fill in some gaps, but both of them are nice and light and airy. I have to be careful not to overwork these because they are so beautiful and drapey all by themselves. And there are just more pieces of that same type of green, uh, but not in a swag. So then the last place where I have an actual garland is out on my front porch. So if you saw the home tour, you saw it, but if you're just looking for my little bits and pieces and please ignore my dogs, they're nuts. Um, out here, stay Kenya, stay Kenya. Good girl, there's my Kenya baby. Out here, this is another real one. This does have artificial picks, and please excuse the noise, we live on a very busy road. But this one, this garland has these wonderful old fashioned picks, which go with my swag. Sometimes I make a wreath. This year I wanted to do a swag because I wanted to emphasize the citrus and I didn't have that many of them and I always do a big bow which uh, hides my cords. So again, this one is just a mixed evergreen garland. Hey baby girl. And you guys, oh there's Moosey. I've already seen most of the things in here including my tree and Ferdinand, my reindeer, but um, evergreen garlands. Don't be intimidated by them. Just put lots of things in them, real or fake, lots of ribbons, lots of pine cones, which aren't in mine this year, but they look fantastic. And uh, if you want to make your own, you can also just go to the backyard, get a whole bunch of longer pieces and you would lay them in little bundles, little bunches, one on top of the other and wire them together with heavy duty floral wire and just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. That's all that they do at the Greens Center where you go uh, to get them from the nursery. And with a lot of patience and hard work, uh, you can have something beautiful like this too. So have a wonderful day guys. Elizabeth Scenes and Scents talking about garlands and greenery, both real and fake. Have a great day. Oh, there's my cute little new deer. Bye-bye.